90% of all millionaires became so through owning real estate. Did you know that there are over 50 million renter-occupied homes in the U.S., in contrast to 75 million owner-occupied homes? Or that this sector has more than 300 REIT mutual funds and ETFs for prospective investors? Or that real estate investment trusts, or REITs, are companies that own, operate, and finance income-producing properties? Hey everyone, Dan here with Ethos Investing. Stay tuned to hear some interesting facts about the real estate sector, and later in my seventh portfolio sector reveal, we will discuss my single holding in my seventh smallest sector by portfolio value. Now let's take a look at details related to the real estate sector. The real estate sector is one of the most globally recognized sectors. It comprises four subsectors, housing, retail, hospitality, and commercial. The growth of this sector is well complemented by the growth in the corporate environment and the demand for office space as well as urban and semi-urban accommodations. As the name suggests, the newest addition to the S&P sectors includes real estate investment trusts, as well as realtors and other companies. The real estate sector makes up 2.9% of the S&P 500. Now let's take a look at the main segments of the real estate sector, which are residential real estate, commercial real estate, and industrial real estate. The residential sector focuses on the buying and selling of properties used as homes and for non-professional purposes. The residential real estate sector is comprised of single family homes, apartments, condominiums, planned unit developments, and more. As of 2021, this segment of the real estate industry has been steadily increasing in value for several years. In May 2021, median home prices were up at approximately $337,000, while the residential real estate market as a whole was valued at more than $33.8 trillion. The commercial sector consists of real estate used for business purposes. Common types include shopping malls, retail, office spaces, hotels, and other spaces used for business purposes. Some of the latest estimates of commercial real estate market from 2018 show a valuation of approximately $16 trillion. However, as prices fluctuate in the global economy, a number of investors have shown hesitance to continue investing in the commercial real estate segment. And last but not least, the industrial real estate segment is comprised of properties used for manufacturing and production, such as factories, plants, and warehouses. Utility companies such as PG&E, for example, will own a lot of industrial real estate as assets, including but not limited to power plants that work to generate electricity. Now let's take a look at how one can invest in the sector. Prospective investors in the real estate sector can take the leap into the market in multiple ways. The choices include purchasing equities in a specific company, buying mutual funds, and of course, investing in exchange-traded funds. There are several real estate ETFs that provide diversified exposure to the sector. A few of the more popular real estate sector ETFs include Vanguard's Real Estate Sector ETF, or ticker symbol VNQ, and the iShares US Real Estate ETF, or ticker symbol IYR, and lastly, Schwab's US REIT ETF, or ticker symbol SCHH. Some popular real estate sector companies by market cap are American Tower Corporation, or AMT, with $110 billion in market cap, Prologis, or ticker symbol PLD, with a total market cap of $109 billion, Crown Castle, or ticker symbol CCI, with a total market cap of $74 billion, Public Storage, or PSA, with a market cap of $62 billion, and rounding out the top five, Equinix, or ticker symbol EQIX, at nearly $61 billion. If you feel this content is going to help you on your investment journey, please hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so I know that you're following me. Now let's take a look at my single dividend real estate sector holding in my portfolio. Did you know that this company was founded in 1969 to provide investors with monthly dividends 
that increase over time. Any guesses on which company this might be? Comment below after the video finishes and let me know if you got this one correct. The company is Realty Income. Realty Income, the monthly dividend company, is an S&P 500 company dedicated to providing stockholders with dependable monthly income. The company is structured as a REIT and its monthly dividends are supported by cash flow from over 6,500 real estate properties owned under long-term lease agreements with our commercial clients. To date, the company has declared 608 consecutive common stock monthly dividends throughout its 52-year operating history and has increased the dividend an astounding 109 times since Realty Income's public listing in 1994. The company is a member of the S&P's 500 Dividend Aristocrat Index. In addition, Realty Income's top 20 tenants are also super solid. Their tenants include 7-Eleven, Walgreens, Dollar General, FedEx, Dollar Tree, Sainsbury, LA Fitness, AMC, Regal Cinemas, Walmart, Lifetime Fitness, B&Q, Tesco, BJ's Wholesale Club, Home Depot, Treasury Wine Estates, Circle K, CVS, Kroger, and of course Fast Mart. Now let's take a look at my holdings. I am currently holding 90.738 shares of a big O. At a current dividend yield of 4.4%, Realty Income drips $268.40 a year into my hybrid portfolio composed of both single stocks and ETFs. As a sector, my real estate sector position accounts for only 0.97% of my total hybrid portfolio holdings with a value of approximately $6,000. $123 with one company accounting for a total drip of $268.40. As I mentioned in my previous six portfolio sector reveals, the goal continues to be to add around $3,000 a month to the portfolio through the end of the year. Keep an eye out for my next portfolio sector reveal. Please comment below what sector you think will be next. If you missed any of my first six portfolio sector reveals on energy, communication, financials, utilities, industrials, or consumer discretionary, please check them out. I'll leave links to the videos in the description. As always, lead the way, motivate others around you, remain physically and mentally resilient, foster a positive investing ethos, be pragmatic, and have fun achieving your goals. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Remember, I am not a financial advisor. The opinions expressed in this video are solely for educational and entertainment purposes only. Any stock purchase I show in video should not be considered an investment recommendation. Investing involves risk and you should do your own research. For investment advice, please seek the counsel of a financial advisor.